Hey guys, you're watching Daniel and Gian, and today we are going to react to Types of Teachers by Jordan Dindian. Highly requested. Before I get started, I just want to make sure you smash that like button, leave comments, let us know what you think. Ring the bell if you're already a subscriber. Follow us on social media, guys. Right there in front of you. Let's hit it. <laughs> did you have teachers that talked weird? Yeah, definitely. So did I. <laughs> I have a story about teachers. As gay low-sex law states, when gases react, they do so in volumes that bear the whole number. What are you doing? Flirting that? Flirting that? Flirting that? Flirting that? <laughs> Dude, did you ever get like Indian burns or whatever they That's why, children, I say without a doubt that the Mesopotamian civilization was undoubtedly of I beg your pardon. As I was saying, the Mesopotamian civilization was this I've encountered a lot at I USC, believe it or not. The Mesopotamian civilization was... Hello, Joseph, my castle on you. Firichimilika, Firichimilika! Fucking hair. Oh, <laughs> the Mesopotamian civilization... <laughs> Summer holidays, let's start with you. If you went to any special area, <laughs> <laughs> you go east to west, all over the place. You know, back in the day, I used to actually travel a lot. You tell me. Tell me. Say something. It's okay, then I'll start class. I'll start class with death notes. Chapter 1. Health and hygiene. That's what is Max? Disgusting. Ah, is this the behavior? Is this the behavior that we expect from you? You go call your father. Go. Go call your father and come. I will not talk to you. Go. This is what your son is bringing. Huh? Are you happy with this? Are you happy in your life that your son is bringing these marks? I will not talk. You go call your father and come. I will not talk to you. See, I understand that your son is <laughs> But what? Your son and his son is all gone. You go call your father and come. I, I can't talk to you also. Go call your father, please. Please go call your father. Are you happy with how your family tree has grown? Huh? What is this? What? Look, look at this. See, I would ask you to call your father, but you itself are not looking too well. Maybe you go get checkup. Go. You're looking very malnourished. Did you did you ever uh this exactly why in Australia have to call your parents? Like you yourself? No. So you have to take into consideration the extremes of the class. Uh, did you say you went to Australia last year? Me? I am glad you asked this question. I think it was in 93 or 94, I forget. September or October, my wife, my kids and I decided to go to Mahabaleshwar. But then we thought, why not go to Australia because of the Kangaroo, the Kangaroo guys and such animals. If the things about Australia, you will realize only once you go there. Those are my favorite so classes my though, I'm going to be honest. In high school, listening to teachers who tell stories. And they get distracted. Yeah, you ask them the right question and they just go off. Stop talking. Didn't you hear me the first time? What's wrong with you? Is this how you respect your elders? Didn't they teach you anything at home? Here's a copyright for the Toy Story music. We need one of those. Uh, 
Like, I, when I started encountering people with weird voices, I was older to the point where it's kind of like, you kind of giggle about it. You're, like, you probably make you fun move of them out of class. Exactly, yeah. you move past it. But in, in middle school, I had a teacher who had Parkinson's disease. Oh. And this is, <laughs> this is before I knew like really what that was. Taking her seriously was one of the hardest things for me and a lot of other kids. Because she would, You're she was shaking. super strict, super fucking strict. And so when she'd fucking yell at you, she'd be like, yeah, especially that middle school's tough. You yeah, because you're already immature already. You got all these you're, hormones that you, you laugh at everything. Yeah. Like everything's funny. I mean, everyone called her Bobblehead. That was her nickname. Poor thing. No, not really. She was a bitch. So <laughs> she was an old white lady who was not nice. I mean, she's definitely dead now. So rest in peace. But you know, I learned sex ed from her too. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> I learned about women's vaginas and periods. That? And that was the only time, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it was puberty or what, where I fucking almost vomited. Like, Cause you were laughing so hard? No. You got nervous? Learning about the period, the woman's period, and then watching a baby give birth. I mean a baby give birth. A woman give birth, like. Yeah, I think watching a baby give birth would be pretty intense. <laughs> like a face. baby pushing out another baby. Oh, oh I yeah. Mean, no, I meant a woman giving birth. Yeah. Just seeing the vagina just like, Right, ruined porn for you for like a week. That's why I'm an asshole. That's that's what it is. It makes perfect it, it sense. Fucked everything up. It makes perfect. And sense. then the other story is, and I've told, I've talked about this guy plenty of times on the podcast. Vietnam veteran. Was he this guy? Now, can someone tell me why in 1975 we pulled our troops out of Vietnam? The failure of Vietnamization to win popular support caused an ongoing erosion of confidence in the various American but illegal Saigon regimes. Is she right? Because I know that's the popular version of what went on there. I know a lot of people like to believe that. So I far, wish yeah. I could, but I was there. I wasn't here in a classroom, hoping I was right, thinking about it. I was up to my knees in rice paddies with guns and Edward going up against Charlie, slugging it out with these yep. fuck pussies like you. <laughs> yep. We're back here partying, <laughs> putting headbands on, doing drugs, listen to the goddamn Beatle albums. Oh, oh. Dude, that, no, look, without the, well, obviously without the Sam Kinison bit, but <laughs> yeah, no, for reals, he was like that. Vietnam veteran, went into the FBI or some shit like that, and then he came back with all these fucking stories, and he would, oh, we would always like game him into telling us stories. I mentioned uh, previously on podcast that he had a, a skeleton that as uh, biology teachers do, yeah. but his was a real skeleton from fucking, Viet it was like a little Vietnamese girl. Like literally he had paperwork for it, because this was back when, uh, when it was when it okay, was okay, to, do okay to do that. So what what happened is French grave robbers would go around in Vietnam and grave and dig people up right. and just take their corpses, and sell their bones for the science teachers. He was one of the last ones who did that. He also had a room that that had from the first month all the way to like the ninth month of babies, like their fetus, like the fetus development in uh, in in the in the fluid, that embalming fluid or whatever. That doesn't sound right at all. It was. People would steal them. As a matter of fact, I know one of the people who stole one of the things because he was like in the death metal and he thought it was like really cool. Yeah, I, I, yeah exactly, yeah. Uh, and then like, he was notorious for punching another teacher in the face to the point where the dude's eye came out and he got kicked out of the science <laughs> wing. He couldn't get fired because he was a union and, right. and he had tenure. So they moved him to the machine shop. That's where I had him in the biology, my biology classes in the machine shop. He would not be one to turn down fights. So when kids like, I'll fuck you up, Nagel. He was one that would go outside and leave the classroom and fucking, you know, let's go, bitch. And he he did it on numerous occasions too. I've had I had like deans tell me like stories of like like one in particular this black kid who thought he was like tough tried to like square up on him, and he was like, let's go outside, let's fucking do it right now. Took a swing at him, and he just ducked and fucking put his big ass forearm on his neck, held him on the locker room until he passed out. And then L A uh, the L A P D because we had cops on campus came and just fucking arrested him. But yeah, no, he he had the fucking biggest hands I've ever seen in my life too. Like fucking huge fucking Hulk fist hands. This just white guy. He just he reminded me of Gran Torino. Like Clint Eastwood from Gran Torino. Right. Like that but anyway, that's that's my type of teachers. Uh I 
I steamrolled this whole conversation. Today. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I don't really have any stories for teachers like that. I, I mean, other than like, I was oh, and a guy who science could, teacher, an Asian guy who could do two finger push-ups in the fourth grade. This fucking Asian teacher would do two finger push-ups. He studied way too much Jeet Kune Do. He said he was a disciple of Bruce Lee. Of course he was. They all are. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for us. Thanks for watching. Let us know about your favorite teachers yeah. and explain you know, anything like that. And if you like that video, make sure to check out our Jordanian playlist right over here.